what up guys and welcome back to my channel so guys um, today I'm bringing you another video I'm gonna show you the new CF uh, what is it CF Moto 800 MT it's a 799 CC uh, motorcycle um, it's kind of like a tourer motorcycle newly released by CF Moto so I'm just gonna take you around and show you how the bike looks like So guys, I'm going to start from the front. As you can see, it comes with a 19-inch front wheel and twin discs in the front for the brakes. And it comes with these cool integrated fog lights. So you don't have to buy aftermarket fog lights when you get this bike. And this is how the headlight looks like. It has daytime running light up here and the headlights, low and high beams on both sides. You got your turn signals, you got your screen, windshield, which is from factory. And it has integrated um, hand guards so you don't have to buy hand guards when you get this bike and it also comes with gold rims tubeless tires just like all the other modern uh, adventure bikes but I'm believing this is a tourer and it might be able to do some off-road as well but for the most part it's a tourer and as you can see nice spoked wheels and it also comes with a tubeless system usually what most manufacturers will do is to put the spokes on the sides of the wheel but this one is in the middle uh, kind of like what the new Suzuki adventure bike looks like but even though it's in the middle it is still a tubeless tire which is awesome and it has got a big radiator I think it's enough to cool it must be enough to cool the the engine 799 cc engine and it's got this integrated just to stop or to minimize vibrations I forgot what it's called right now but that's mostly its purpose You've got your horn right in there and it looks really mean. It also already comes with crash guards so you don't need to install any aftermarket crash guards. And the guy told me it comes with a quick shifter as well which is awesome. And the mat guards are of very strong, high quality plastic. And you can see it comes pre installed with two USB outlets on the left hand side and a 12 volt socket on the right hand side. And this is one thing I don't like about some premium bike manufacturers. Uh, case in point, the CB500X from Honda. They cannot even install a 12 volt socket or a USB. Those are the little things that annoy me about some of these brands. You have to buy the bike and there are so many other aftermarket accessories you have to add. But some of these other smaller brands, well CF is not a small brand, but they give you everything right from scratch. I don't know why the big manufacturers can do that. If you can buy a USB 12 or 12 volt socket or a USB socket for peanuts after market, why can't they just integrate it in, in the bike? And these bikes are even more expensive. This one I'm looking at right now is it costs about sixty-seven thousand or so RMB. 
that's if it comes with the three boxes installed and it's even cheaper and 67,000 is just about ten thousand dollars or less maybe eight to nine thousand US dollars and you get all these accessories whereas the Honda which costs more in China is a lot more expensive and doesn't come with all these accessories I know that these the Hondas are made in Thailand and when they come in here in China there's tax slapped on it so it's more expensive than many other places but still I mean there are a lot of things you don't get with some other bikes you have to install them aftermarket so that's something that really annoys me about some of these big brands you have to pay for the smallest and the, 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 the simplest of accessories aftermarket it comes with a JH1 brake calipers which looks really cool with a very solid looking disc you get it it's kind of dark in here but you've got the ABS uh, system right here and it's got a nice solid uh, bolt to hold things together and for easy ins in inflation the inflation can be done on the side so it's not sticking out in the middle to cause trouble when you're inflating and it's convenient let me just switch to this one so you can see what's going on with the chain so the rear is a 17 inch wheel with a tough looking chain and really a really nice setup looks high quality the plastics look very very solid and you've got your Motorex branding right there probably using Motorex from the factory and it well KTM has this collaboration with CF Moto and I think CF KTM engines and bikes some of their bikes I think are made in the KTM factory so he tells me CF uses the same engine as the 799 KTM 799 so don't know I can't confirm that but if it's so then it's going to be a very fast bike just like the KTM's are and if we just take a look at what's going on here on the steering wheel it's very smooth as well just like that on the CV500X easy to maneuver and as you can see the setup here looks very much like that of the BMW adventure bikes or BMW bikes in general so you have the horn down here you have the turn signal and it's all very soft touch really really nice it doesn't need too much effort to change and you have uh, these navigation arrows here this one for setting and it's got cruise control guys cruise control on the CF Moto 800 CC motorcycle and the setup is very similar to that of the BMW a nice clutch it's not as soft as the one on the CV500X but it's got it's got it feels kind of like the BMW ones but pulling it it doesn't seem like you're gonna have numb hands after driving for a long time and on the right hand side is what's going on so you have your hazard lights you have your on and on kill switch and you have your headlights and there's this one here for the fog lights that I just showed you a minute ago and it's got the controls for the high and low beam as well and the pass light all really really nice and the windscreen is adjustable as well so I believe you undo these two you have to stop to adjust it but it's adjustable so you unscrew these two and then you can pull it up or down depending on what you want and all this integrated in the bike from factory you don't have to do anything to it it comes also pre-installed with these crash bars so even if you don't want the boxes you can have the crash bars for extra safety 
and if you have the boxes all the better anytime you need it you slap them on and there you go so look at what's going on the right side of the bike so like I said he mentioned that it has a quick shifter and look at all the amazing technology going on right there and it's it, it must be a pretty easy bike to watch because it's got like it's not kind of like Benelli that kind of fits everything and leaves no space for anything this one is really well done it has a clean build and it looks really tough it has a center stand gold wheels what else could you ask for guys I think the days of sticking to bikes because of the brand yes some are more experienced but I mean at the end of the day if they all work and some give you more features why not this bike is looking really really nice and I'm digging it it's got twin discs in the front and that means a stronger bite in the braking Yeah, it's a really, really nice bike, guys. Yeah, the front is dual discs as well. One on this side, one on the other side. It looks very high quality. It is really nice. So, so far, I can't fold this bike on quality well I can't ride it but it looks really really solid the clutch lever is adjustable as well And the brake lever is adjustable too. I'm sorry if it's not focusing properly, but it looks really, really nice. I just turn on the ignition. This is what you see. And it might not be showing clear enough on the screen on the phone, but if you're seeing it live, it looks really, really bright. There are so many settings, you can brighten it or reduce the brightness. So you've got two modes, you have sports mode and you have rain mode. These are the only two modes. You have the uh, um, temperature gauge right here. Sorry, that's the fuel gauge. Oh, that's temperature control, sorry. And this is the fuel gauge. And you've got ABS oil indicator, engine, service engine, we've got 34 degrees I believe is the air temperature, you get your time here, you've got your trip, 1.2 kilometers, and there are a ton of settings from here as well, so it's, um, and you have your battery voltage indicator, the temperature of the water, you've got Tire pressure monitor right here. The range left for fuel.
So it's all in Chinese now, but I believe you can uh, change it to English. So it's on sport right now. See, tire pressure monitor up there, the temperature of the tire. Um, what else? 12 volt socket. It's got phone connectivity. And date and things like that. It's got a lot of information right here. So it looks really, really crisp and really, really nice. The grip handles are nice and firm but soft at the same time. Yeah, so that's a very, very good solid build. Okay, your rev counter tells you your size stand is up. Um, the front springs are adjustable but not electronically. You need a screwdriver to do both sides. So S would be soft, H would be hard, like on most bikes. And the spring underneath is not electronically adjustable, but you can also adjust it. It's a twin cylinder, as you can see from the from the exhausts and it's got this engine guard engine protection underneath pre-installed from factory and the pegs have this rubber which I believe you can undo so you have a stronger grip for the side stand and uh, a center stand and like I said the spring is adjustable but I think you need tools to adjust it it's not electronically adjustable, uh, but on the whole, this is an amazing looking bike. Alright guys, so that's the end of this first video introducing the CF800MT. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so I can keep bringing you videos like these. Thanks so much for watching. So I see you in the next video, guys. Ride legal, ride safe. Peace.